Hey, how's it going? This is Robin Williams from TheRealRobinWilliams.com and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to delete subscribers from your Aweber account. Um, and before I dive right into the, um, the know-how, right, uh, I just want to kind of go over why you should be doing this in the first place. You might be doing this because someone asked to be taken off of your list, um, but there are some more important uh, reasons if you're in email marketing, uh, in the email marketing industry in any way. So, um, I don't know if you remember, but when you signed up with Aweber, you might have been shown a pricing chart. And um, what Aweber does is, and I'll show you that chart in a second, they charge you per subscriber. And um, not only do they charge you per subscriber, they charge you per unsubscriber as a subscriber. I don't know if that's confusing you, but people who say, no, I no longer want this information, they are unsubscribed from your list meaning they won't receive anything else from you. However, you still have to go in Aweber and clean it up or else they will count as a subscriber. But let me go ahead and show you the pricing chart real quick. So I have this pricing chart up and as you can see, um, all of the features are the same, right? Uh, whether it's automation or you know the templates, you have a ton of templates back there. Uh, what does change is the pricing per subscriber. So if you're just starting off with Aweber, just got an account, um, you're going to be paying at $19 a month, 0 to 500 subscribers. As soon as you hit 501, you run to the next bracket, and you're going to be charged an additional $10 per month for that one subscriber, right? So imagine if you have, you're working hard on your list, you're, you're doing email marketing, and you have just, you know, 200 good people or 300 good people opening your emails, which is kind of high, right? Um you'll definitely you'll be getting charged 10 extra bucks for those people who aren't opening opening your emails so it's important to clean out your email um, subscriber list to make sure you're not falling in an unnecessary bracket now if you're falling in a bracket you got great open rates and all that stuff that's fine um, but if you are paying you know extra 10 bucks for that one person that's sitting on your list that's not opening your email uh, then you definitely don't you don't want to waste your money so that's one important thing uh, one important reason why you want to delete uh, another important reason is um, when you uh, send emails basically if you're consistent with sending emails like you know four to five emails a week at least um, or maybe even daily emails and you have a list who is not opening. So just say, for instance, you have 5,000 people on your list and only 1,000 are opening. So what the ISP services are going to see is that you have 4,000 people not opening this email. You might be a spammer, right? And so if you scrub your list and get rid of not only the unsubscribers, but you get rid of the people who are not opening your emails, you can increase your deliverability to the inbox versus their versus their spam box and another thing I want to just show you here hopefully okay show you here is the uh, I cleaned out my list recently I price scrubbed about 500 people out which is a lot for uh, the, the small list that I have um, but I missed one so I'm going to show you an example of how you can delete your subscribers out of um, Aweber using this YouTube magic uh, list. This is a, a list and a whole a list of my lists in Aweber. And one of the important things you want to do once you're doing this is to make sure you're working from the correct list. So when you work in Aweber, whether it be with your subscribers or your um, your messages you're sending out, you want to make sure you're working from the correct list. Just use the drop down, select the list that you want to maintain, and it'll refresh and Everything you do from here on out will be working from this particular list, uh, which is really simple, really easy. But I just wanted to point that out in case you didn't know um, and you're trying to figure out why the list isn't being clean. It's because you have to be set to the correct list. Um, then you want to go to subscribers, all of this stuff, guys. I promise it's really simple. You want to go to manage subscribers. After you go to manage subscribers, I'm going to move this myself over here. Um, you're already showing all when, once you go to manage subscribers. But what I want to see is I want to see everybody who unsubscribed 
I think I had a total of 119 on this list before I came to this page. It was uh, 107 people who are subscribed and I think uh, like 12 people who are unsubscribed, which makes my list total 119 people for this particular list. And so if I just click on uh, unsubscribe, it's going to show me all of those people who are unsubscribed. Actually, I deleted them. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I deleted them already, so it'll show you all of them that's unsubscribed. I mean, yes, the unsubscribe, and you just hit delete. Um, once you delete that, you want to actually go to show all again. And now, what I want to do is I want to delete people who have not opened my emails. Um, I'm going to go a little bit far back, and here's the thing about this you want to do it often if you send email often. So like, uh, for instance, if you haven't sent email in the last month or two, um, do you don't want to delete people who have not opened your emails in the last month or two because you haven't sent any. Um, so what I'm going to do for this list, I'm going to go back um, and I'm going to change the category to no opens, meaning people who have not opened my emails uh, since. And then I'm just going to pick a 2016 date. It might be a good chunk of these folks. I'm not sure. Um, but you can do it like if you're somebody who's been sending emails constantly, uh, you know, uh, you, you could do it in the last month. If like people didn't do your, you know, um, didn't open your emails, you can delete them or, uh, you, what you can do, you can go last three to six months or something like that. Uh, you can just search here and see how many come up. So 38 subscribers out of 120, 112 people have now opened my uh, email since 2015. Why are they still here? They should be deleted, right? They should be deleted. So I'll just delete. You can unsubscribe them as well. I don't know the purpose of unsubscribing these folks. Um, so I just delete them. Yes, I want to delete them. And I think that should be it. But that's the end of this video. Hopefully you got a lot of value. Hopefully you're ready to do some AWeber scrubbing um, of your list. Uh, possibly get that, that price down. Put some more money in your pocket or towards the marketing or whatever. Um, if you have any questions, definitely post it on this video or blog. Or even Facebook if you see this on Facebook. Subscribe. Um, if you need more tips, if you need more marketing tips, whether it be help with getting your uh, marketing efforts started or help with maintaining uh, some of those basic stuff like email lists or getting your lead capture page set up, getting your blog set up, definitely click on the link at the top of the description of this video. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube or just hit me up on inbox if you watch me on Facebook. This is Robin Williams from TheRealRobinWilliams.com. I'll see you on the top. Peace. Mm -hmm.